So it can go ahead and generate a report. The state of the art microbiology laboratory was today commissioned by the Minister for Health, Dr. Jan Ruth Cheng, in Mulago. During the launch, Minister Cheng revealed that the 46 billion shillings laboratory will be able to test all medicines in Uganda, including herbal medicines, which will enable Uganda to start developing medicines from locally available plants as well as regulated. I had opportunity to see how they test you know, the capsules that we take in and to understand from them how they detect the active ingredients but also detect whether it is contaminated or not contaminated and to also ensure that when you take this medicine inside you, it actually dissolves. I did not know, even as a medical doctor, that it is possible that I take a medicine and it doesn't dissolve. But I saw that that is also checked. According to Dr. David Nahamia, the secretary of the authority, the lab is among the few on the continent that has been constructed to meet the modern standards. Is WHO pre qualified? <laughs> that is from Geneva. It has ISO certification from a lab. That is the auditors from US. The other one auditors are from WHO Geneva. So it is not a simple lab. It is among the few on the continent. And this is not in theory. Our tests here, our results cannot be contested. Dr. Nahima today also called for new regulations to guide them in the fight against importers in the market. I, you find some other agencies are trying to test the same. Sometimes the results are contradictory. I don't want to go into that direction, but there is that contradiction, and I hope it is going to be solved. This is regarding medical devices. We have some other agencies which are saying they are testing, but we are saying the mandate is here. Minister Acheng has also commended National Drug Authority for its efforts in the fight against the theft of public drugs and urged the authority to continue strengthening departments to break illegally operating racks. Break all those rackets break them so that our medicines are safe in the facilities and end up with the people. The board chairman of National Drug Authority, Dr. Medad Bitecherezo, has vowed to ensure that officials from the authority are fully trained to help add value. Training of these people is paramount. You cannot fail to train these people. I will continue my foot soldiers to send you either Makere or Mbarana Augustema if it means going on planes, I will put you on planes and you will travel on planes, not border borders. You will spend the dollars which you make so that you can come back and add value to the NDA. As a committee of health, if there are entities that we think government should not rationalize is National Drug Authority because they are productive, they are not consumptive. You know some entities only consume with less coming out, but National Drug Authority even that building that they're putting up is internally generated. Money they get. Following the launch of the state-of-the-art microbiology laboratory, the National Drug Authority now wants government to grant them permission to procure and distribute animal drugs. Safi, Mokhile Baluku and Shamim Natewa, CTV. To show that we threw...